I have seen videos where people have talked about using titanium dioxide on tiles, then put them on their laser engraver and come out with images that are black. Uh, all they use is titanium dioxide. They don't use a spray paint. They don't use any other pigment, just titanium dioxide. But I haven't found a video that shows how they go about doing the mixture and how the whole procedure comes together. So I would like to take a moment and just go through how I mix my titanium dioxide, how I prepare the tile, how I spray the tile, when it's going through the laser engraver with the settings that I use and what the final outcome is. And hopefully this will help you. So what I have is pure titanium dioxide. I have isopure alcohol. I have two small measuring cups. I've got a spray bottle, a pencil, and food coloring. And how I go about doing this is I take the titanium dioxide And I use my scooper to fill up my small measuring cups. Now I will use two level scoops of the titanium dioxide. And I am using a, see if you can see this there. That is a one tablespoon size scoop. Um, or 15 ml. Um, I use the pencil to just go through and sort of smash down any large pieces so that I don't get big chunks in the base of the spray bottle that could potentially go in there and cause a problem with um, getting stuck in the nozzle. I use the second cup so I will then pour this into my plastic or my paper cup. I then will use the paper cup because I don't have a funnel at the moment, and I will carefully try to get all the titanium dioxide into the spray bottle. Make sure you wear gloves. Put something beneath you to catch any titanium dioxide that may uh, not make it into the spray bottle. You can see I got a few chunks in here. So again, I just go in there and sort of smash them up a little bit. I want to try to get that as fine of a powder as I can. And so if I just sort of spread this out, you can see it's about an even coat all the way on the bottom. And in shaking that, I can see I got a few more of these little chunks. And the idea is that most of these will dissolve when you add the, um, the isopure alcohol, but I'd rather just be sure knowing that I got as many of them broken down as, as possible. So the next thing that I do is I will use th three cupfuls of the alcohol into the cup, into the spray bottle. That's the mixture that I go with. There's one. And again, I will use the cup to go into the spray bottle. Now, what I like to do before I mix everything up, I like to add a little bit of food coloring because the titanium dioxide without anything in it and you spray it on a tile, it's white and it's really hard to see if you've got good coverage on the tile. All the food coloring does is give you a guide to see that you've got good coverage on the tile. There's nothing magical about what color you use, red, yellow, green, blue, it doesn't matter. I just happen to have red, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put in four drops. One, two, three, four. 
And all I want to do is just tint this so I'm able to see it once it's sprayed on the tile. Next, I will put my spray cap back on and we'll give it a good shake. Make sure everything is shaked up nice, that there is no clumps on the bottom. What you see there is the uh, bottom of the spray bottle. So that's it for my mixture. That's good, done, ready to go. So now I'll show you how I prepare the tile and then how I spray the, the titanium dioxide onto the tile. So the tile that I'm going to use is a four by four, but it actually measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's inches. And sometimes when you get these tiles, there'll be little bits of glue adhesive on them and it's kind of rubbery. Um, I find that more in the larger six by six tiles than I do the four by four. But regardless, we want to use acetone to clean the tile to make sure that there's no oils or anything that can prevent the uh, titanium dioxide from sitting properly on the tile. So I'll just take my acetone, pour it onto a paper towel, and then I'll just go back and forth. I'll go up and down, I'll go left and right. I'll just get the edges and go in a square motion. So that's the procedure for cleaning the tile. Next, we're gonna put this outside and let it dry. And then I'll show you how I spray the uh, titanium dioxide onto the tile. Now that the acetone has dried, let's take our titanium dioxide and spray it on the tile. Be sure you shake it up again because you can see here that it's somewhat separated. So we wanna make sure that we get a Good mixture. All right, and then we're just going to give a few light sprays of, onto the tile. You can see that the red food coloring makes it easy to see where the titanium dioxide is on the white tile. Um, not sure if you can see that pinkish color. But that's what we got there. So now we're gonna let this dry and then we'll go put it in the laser. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is pick an image that we're going to bring into Lightburn to etch onto our tile that's coated with titanium dioxide. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click this image. And what I want you to notice is that this image is in color. This is an image that I created through Mid Journey. Um, and it just, is, this is what it, it came up with for me. Um, when I bring, bring this into Lightburn, it's going to automatically convert it to black and white. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to drag my image in. And there, Lightburn did the conversion of color to black and white. So first thing I want to do, so I don't forget, is I want to change my size. My tile is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, but I want the etching to go all the way over the sides of the tile, left, right, top, and bottom. So I'm gonna change that to, instead of 4.25 to 4.35 on my width and 4.35 on my height. We're going to bring this down here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's bring this over. Okay, now, if I wanna come in here and make any changes to this, um, I can, uh, click the arrow, make sure I've got the, the, the image selected. You can kind of see the marching ants around it. And then I will right click on my mouse and I can come down here to adjust image. Through adjust image, I can control the different settings, contrast, brightness, gamma, enhance radius, and enhance amount. And 
The image here on the left is the original and the one on the right is the one that you would be making changes to. So um, there's some stuff that's a little dark, like in the wings here and down in the, the, the tail feathers and on both of the hummingbirds. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the contrast a bit. I'm going to play with the brightness some. Let's uh, back that up a little bit. I want to I want to maintain some of the details in the feathers there. So I think I got to. Well, let's see here. Here we're gonna go out there. Let's play with the gamma a little bit. Let's back that out. Now we're going to go to the enhance amount. Let's take it a tad more. Okay, I think I like that. I've lightened the image up a bit. I've maintained some of the details. And um, the next thing you can play with is the image mode. You've got threshold. And, and as you change these modes, you can see that it real time will show you the original again and then the image mode that you're in. There's threshold, ordered, Atkinson, dither, Stucky, Jarvis, Newsprint. Newsprint, if you, you zoom into it, is kind of like what you'd see in a newspaper, a picture that, that's printed with several dots. Um, and then you've got Halftone, Sketch, and Grayscale. Now, Grayscale will try to make it look like a picture you don't really have dots at that point, but you're asking a machine that works on dots to create um, a, a picture quality image. And I have not had luck with it. And I think if that's what you're trying to do, well, just maybe go get a copy made of the picture instead of etching it with your laser. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go with this one. I think I'm going to do, let's see, there's the other, you see right here. There's Stucky. I think I'm going to use Stucky for this one. It's, it, they're so subtle that you can't really notice the difference between them. And as I'm making these changes, uh, it's also making it to the one that is on the screen that's going to go for the etching. So I'm going to tell the machine that, okay, let's do it. So now my power, because I've got titanium dioxide on here, uh, I can be a little more loose with, with my controls. So um, these are the settings that I use. I use speed, uh, 1700 millimeters a minute at 40% power. I do 285 DPI and my scan angle, I change to 90. I've just had good luck with that. So I'm going to continue doing that. So I'm going to hit OK, OK, and then we will get this over to the laser and show you the process of what the titanium dioxide looks while it's being etched. So now I got the tile on the uh, the burn board for the laser. I am using a 10 watt diode laser for this etching. I'm going to frame it to make sure that the tile is where I need it to be. And then we'll go ahead and start the engraving. So let's make sure that I've got this within the parameters so that the etching goes over the top, the bottom and the left and the right. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and start the engraving and you can see the, um, the process and the progress that is being made while the titanium dioxide is being etched into the tile. So there's the final image. And what's nice about the titanium dioxide is that unlike paint, it doesn't take much to remove the excess material. So I'm gonna go back to my acetone and I'm gonna pour a little directly on the tile. And 
and I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to lightly go over and remove the excess titanium, I'm sorry, titanium dioxide. That white that you see is just, just the excess material. I'll pour a little more on here, one more. And then we'll use a paper towel to wipe it down. Now the tile has an, abros oh, I'm sorry, an abrasive feel to it. Um, and that's because of the titanium dioxide etched into the, to the material, into the tile. But we'll let this dry for a moment and then the next step is to put a coat of clear on top of it. Here is the final image after the titanium dioxide has been cleaned and removed from the tile. Cleanup is very easy because the titanium dioxide, in fact, one thing I didn't mention, but you do not want air assist on because it potentially could blow the titanium dioxide off of the tile while you are doing your etching. So there is the finished product. And there is our screen of what it was to look like. So all in all, I think it came out really nice. I think it retained a lot of the detail. And I hope this answers any questions that you have on how to use titanium dioxide on your tile. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you have anything to add that can make this even better, please share that as well. Thanks for watching.